Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your very own web scrapers using Axiom.ai. By the end of the video, you'll know how to scrape content from virtually any web page. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. The simplest way to create a web scraper using Axiom.ai is with our Quick Builder. The Quick Builder will essentially assemble the scraper for you, and then all you need to do is configure it. So this is an ideal method for people new to web scraping and new to Axiom. So I'm going to open up Axiom. I'm on Axiom's dashboard. To get started, all I need to do is click on New Automation. Then in the top right, you'll see Quick Builder. Give it a go. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Click on that button. We're now in the Quick Builder. You'll see it's given me a series of options because Quick Builder can also build bots to automate social media, to upload or download files, and of course, enter data into any web form. But we're focusing on the scrape data from a website option. So I'm going to click on that and Axiom.ai will start to build my web scraper for me. It's going to ask me a series of questions. And then on the side of the screen, just to the right of the um, Question you see is going to then start assembling the steps that will make up my axiom. So I'm going to start answering those questions. Do you have a list of your URLs I wish to scrape? Yes. Great. Where did you get this list from? Well, I've got the list of URLs in a Google Sheet. But of course, I could choose Zapier. How do you want to output that data? Mm, to a Google Sheet is where I want to write it to. And you'll see here's the preview that I'm just circling with the pointer. So now I've got a read data step, and that is to get my URLs. We then pass them into a loop step because that loops through the rows in the Google Sheet with the URLs on. And that goes into a get data step where the URL is passed into the scraper and then one will extract the content. And now all I need to do is right to the Google Sheet, and we're done. The automation is ready to set up. I can give it a, a name. I'm going to call it a web scraper. And that's my first ever scraper built in seconds. I haven't had to think about what steps I need. Axiom.ai <coughs> has done it for me. But I will need to configure the bot, but that's pretty simple. Now, Axiom will also show you, take you through that if you wanted a guided um, the guide is set up, just press start set up, but I'm familiar with Axiom, so I'm just going to skip it and just whiz you through the steps quickly. You can see Axiom's assembled the scraper. We've got some validation highlighting here of things we need to set up. So we will need to insert our Google Sheet that we've got the URLs in. We can then um, basically we'll need to then select the data off the page, which is as simple as follows. Let me just go to a web page and show you me show show you the selector tool. So it's point and click. I can just extract the content off the web page. It's pretty straightforward. I want to get the paragraphs, press complete. I have my data. I can collapse that step. So you can see it's starting to, to finish. And now, of course, we needed to write that data so I can choose from the Google Sheets I have to write that data too. So that's how simple and quick it is to build a scraper using the Quick Builder in Axiom. Another method we have for getting started with web scraping is to use a snippet. Now, snippets are baked into Axiom's Step Finder. The Step Finder, if you're not familiar with it, is the tool that allows you to select steps when creating your automations. And it can be accessed by pressing Add First Step in a new automation, and then in, by clicking In Between Steps when you're constructing your automation. So I've opened up the Step Finder, and you can see under the heading Beginner Snippets, we have several snippets for um, scraping web pages. Now, these are pre-built combinations of steps that literally will insert that scraper into your automation. So you can just go, go ahead and configure it, and you're all set up. And you can then also then customize it to your use case by adding, adding additional steps. So we have a few snippets to choose from here. Scrape data from page to Google Sheets. Scrape links from a website and scrape each page. Scrape pages from a list of links in a Google Sheet. Let's try the first one. Scrape data from a page to Google Sheet. You can see it instantly adds the steps into my automation. All I need to do then is configure those steps. 
by follow, following the validation, which is the orange triangles telling me what I need to set up. So first of all, it's grabbed the URL for me. Then I just need to select the data and then select my Google Sheet to write that data to. So it's pretty easy to get going with snippets. Next up are templates. Like any good automation tool, we've also got a range of templates you can get started with. You can easily install them into your Axiom account. Here are some links I'm circling to the templates you may wish to try, or you can go to our webpage where you'll see the list of templates. Now we have some vanilla templates, which have got the Axiom logo on, you can use to automate screenshots, download files, and of course, scraping data. How to scrape, see, I'm just circling around here. You can see with a pointer on how to scrape links from a website into a Google Sheet. So, those templates, you can just click on it and install. You can do that from their web page and clicking the button Install Template. There is also another way. I'm going to open up Axiom. I'm going to press New Automation and then click on Start from a Template. And you'll see that we've got these tabs available. I'm going to tab onto Web Scraping where I'm given a choice of different scraping templates. I can click on including this ChatGBT scraper, and I'll also be guided through how to set those up. Now, Axiom.ai being an extremely flexible tool that allows you to customize your automations to your use case would not be complete without an option to allow you to start from blank and create your own web scrapers. Now, this may start scary, it sounds scary, and you may start a little scared if you've never used an automation tool before, but it's dead easy. You just combine steps to make your web scraper. And I'm gonna in fact show you how to make two very different web scrapers in a matter of moments that will help you build a foundational knowledge to creating your own bots to extract content. So without further ado, let me show you the first of the two scrapers I'm going to teach you how to make. Now, on page, you also find as you see on the screen, you'll see the web page that we've got will be up on our doc site. So you can look at the tutorials there that give you images, they give you design patterns to follow and a step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as they'll feature links to this video. But let me just walk you through it. On screen, I'm gonna open up Axiom, create new automation, we've seen that already, but instead of quick builder or instead of snippets, I'm I'm going to open up the step finder and instead of picking snippet, as I mentioned, I'm going to look for a step. Now I want to get data step because those are my scraping steps. Now I want to pick the get data from a bot's current page or do I? I don't actually because that won't have a URL field in it. Get a list of links to pages from a bot's current page. I don't want a list of links. What I in fact want is to get data from a URL step because this scraper option has a URL field built in it and it will basically grab my URL off the screen I'm already on. I can of course change that by simply deleting and inserting a new URL. Now when, once you've added that step you'll see this validation, the orange triangle that tells you what you need to set up to get going and you'll need simply need to select the data you wish to scrape. There are some configura configuration options that you can change to alter your scraper. There's more about that in our doc site, but I'm just gonna add that first step. Now, once you've selected the data by pressing select on screen, you pretty much go to just output that data. And that's what we wanna do. Output to CSV or export CSV is probably the simplest option because I don't need to integrate or add my Google Sheet. But if you want to use Google Sheets, and I recommend you do, there are there is options to write data to Google Sheet, and I could in fact just add that step instead. It's that simple. But for this example, I'm going to use uh, export CSV. Now, when adding steps, you do need to pass the data from one step to another. I'm going to click Insert Data and pass the scrape data from the, the get step that I've got first. Now, that's the first automation set up. It's that easy. This web scraper is set up. Now I can literally extract content from any web page and export it into a CSV just by adding two steps. Next up, let me show you a little bit more sophisticated, should I say, on the web scraper. We're going to do a bit of looping in this one. So I'm just going to go back to the start and explain what we're going to do. 
So I'm going to scroll down. Again, the tutorials are available on the web page for um, web scraping in our docs. And it talks you through step by step. Now, this next example I'm going to show you is a scraper to loop through your URLs, scraping multiple pages. So with this template in mind, I've basically already got a Google Sheet full of um, links I wish to scrape and then write data back into a Google Sheet. Now we've got instructions that walk you through making it step by step, but I'm just going to dive in and start showing you how to do it in the actual builder itself. But do look for our websites. It'll be um, axiom.ai slash doc slash tutorial slash extract data slash web scraping or just use the navigation and docs to find it or search, it'll be a little more straightforward. But let me show you how to make this scraper. So we're gonna essentially read data from a Google Sheet and you'll see in the design pattern shown, it'll basically build the steps up for you, taking you through the steps you need to add. So this um, scraper uses six steps, a few more than we used, but just as quick to add. So we're going to start with automation, start from first step. This time we don't want to just scrape straight away, we want to read data because we've got, remember we've got our URLs in a Google Sheet. So we add the read data from step. Now let's pretend I've picked a Google Sheet, I've got my URLs in column A. I'm going to just whiz through, taking you through. Next we need to add a loop. And the loop step, essentially the loop step loops through the rows in the Google Sheet, extracting the data. Now, to basically, I want to make the scrape the loop through all those URLs scraping data. So, so I'm going to need to add any steps now into the loop step as sub steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is this time I'm going to use a go to page to load in the page I wish to scrape. But because I've got those URLs in the Google Sheet, I'll of course need to insert the data from the Google Sheet choosing the, the column from the Google Sheet that we want to loop, um, got the URLs in. And that now tells the bot to loop through the URLs being passed from the Google Sheet into the go to page step. What we need to do next is add our get data step. And we get data from the bot's current page because we don't need the step earlier that had the URL filled. We just need to select the data we want to scrape off the page. Let's pretend that I've done that, keep on moving. So. When you're setting the scrape up for yourself, do make sure you select the data that you wish to scrape. Now, of course, this template is perfect for scraping data from um, templated sites. The pages will need to follow a, a design pattern, so to speak, for the scrape to work. If you want to scrape from different types of sites, you'll need to use our AI scraper template. Okay, next up, we want to output this data to a Google Sheet, because obviously all the data we scrape, we don't want it to be lost. So we've got a step for that, write data to a Google Sheet. You'll just need to select the sheet you wish to write to, and of course, insert the data you wish to write, and that'll be the scrape data. Next up, and the final step we add is our delete step. And this step basically removes the row that we just looped through. So when we do our next loop, we don't have to, um, we don't end up looping through row one still because we've deleted that row and we're on to row two. So I'm gonna add the step, to search for delete, delete rows, again, connect your sheet, but where you've got the rows stored and we only want to delete row one to row one. So we basically take one row at a time. Now, this design pattern will work a treat because if the bot is stopped during the run, because it's deleting every row it's processed, you'll be able to just click run and it'll start from the correct row on the Google Sheet. So it's a really useful design pattern. Hopefully now you have a, a basic understanding of how to build web scrapers with Axiom. We do have further documentation available on how to use custom CSS selectors, more on looping, on logic. You can of course click and interact with elements to, to customize your automation, for example, logging into websites or clicking on a button to reveal more content. But hopefully this video has given you an insight to the power of Axiom and just how flexible it is. And by combining steps simply, you can make some pretty powerful web scrapers.